Coaches Weekly. Gary Kajewski here with head women's lacrosse coach Brian Patterson. Coach, a tough week last week. Uh, just your overall thoughts. Well, Garrett, uh, you know, like I said, tough week. Uh, first start off with uh, IIT. Uh, I will say those was the best game I ever lost. I had so much fun playing. Uh, we played really well first half, got the ball moved, we did some things that we have not done all year. We really, I thought we showed that we would, uh, what we can do, it is that we just ran out of steam towards the end. Then coming up this weekend, uh, the injury bug just hit us real, real hard. We have uh, uh, Crystal Phillips probably out for the season. Uh, Stephanie was already out already. Um, Kayla Walker's been uh, bad with a couple of nagging injuries and uh, uh, Sandra as well, so we had to play a man down on Saturday. But even though we played a man down, we we're only down by two goals at halftime. They really showed themselves really well. But then that second half came and we just just lost it all. Uh, Sunday against Alma again, uh, playing down um, and playing hurt. Uh, we we held ourselves, held our own uh, that first half. But then comes second half, we, we just can't score, and you know we need to score to be able to win these games. Right, and then going back, going back to that IAT game, you guys were able to score nine goals, and really, what going off what you said, you guys mixed in a few different uh, wrinkles on offense. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I specifically remember a great uh, passing play that led to Jessica James' first goal. Yeah, uh, Gary, what we really work on our, um, is passing. Just just different plays within inside of our plays. We give our, our girls uh, full autonomy uh, inside of our offense to say, hey, if there's things that you see that's wide open, you know, go for it, take it. We don't want them to become slaves to our offense because then it's like uh, having robots out there. In our game, you cannot play robotic. Our game has to be played as far as a more of a, a field standpoint and then just go from there, especially on the offensive end of the field. And hopefully we see more of the, this going along with not just Jessica, but with Sandra, with, uh, with our uh, the better course sisters, things like that, to help complement our uh, big players that we know and count on for every single game. All right, and you, you've touched on it a little bit. The injury bug kind of hit you this weekend or this week, and um, <clears throat> you lost your starting goal, goalkeeper. How do you? What do you tell the team, like, just to remain confident? And whatnot, because Crystal Phillips is a really big part of, of, of this team. Well, Garrett, you know, we have to do the, the whole, you know, next man up or next woman up in this type of situation to where, you know, we just have to believe in each other. You know, we have to all come together as a family, as one tight unit, you know, support each other and, and do what we can to get uh, by to the next day. And with that being said, Hannah Johnson, she did what a captain's supposed to do. She stepped up, she got in goal, and she had a great day. You know, uh, if you were to tell the other team that, hey, this person, and play goalie one time in practice for 20 minutes, they would not have believed you. She did that great of a job, and I think that, you know, I, I'm, it's a position that I'm not going to be so worried about moving forward for the rest of the year. Uh, on the flip side of that, our attack, we got to become better. Uh, the last couple games, we've scored one total goal in the second half, and, you know, you can't win like that. I don't care how great your defense is, which our defense has been doing very, very well, but you're going to get tired eventually, and things are going to break down. Now we head into this next week. You only got one game mm -hmm. this week uh, against St. Mary's. Just drove uh, the game plan going into that game. Yeah, well, uh, you know, the game plan pretty so much is simple. Uh, we're going to try to move the ball more, okay? More movement, more movement, more movement. They play a, a defense called backer, which is pretty much predicated on stopping the drive at cage. So in order to get through that, that thing, you're going to have to move the ball quickly, officially, and all ball people have to move, uh, move as well. We cannot just sit there, wait for Sydney, Anna, Maggie to drive the cage. We need a full team effort from all seven people in the zone, uh, all working together, moving together, uh, trying to create openness for themselves and the rest of the team. Well, we look forward to it, Coach. Cougar fans, if you can't make it to the game this week, you can find all the live links at cucougars.com. Thank you, Garrett.